Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on yet another one of my videos. Uh, huge apologies for being quite MIA the last couple of weeks. Um, very sporadic with my filming. Um, but uh, as most of you know, I am taking care of my other half at the minute. He is recovering from a hip hop, doing brilliantly, really, really well, but obviously still on crutches. So if anyone's had crutches, you know how difficult it is to carry things. So he's still needing weighted on hand and foot. Um, to be honest, I think he's milking it now, like, but <laughs> no, he does need, still need quite a bit of help. Um, he's in the shower at the minute, so if you hear him shouting, it's just because he's finished in the shower and I need to go and help dry his feet. Um, <laughs> so um, he knows that if I'm not finished filming, he'll have to wait in the shower, so... Don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, so huge apologies for not being uh, as prominent as I should be. I've had some lovely, lovely messages from people saying that they're missing me. Um, and it's so lovely. Um, so thank you very much to those that are messaging and thinking on me and thinking on him. So anyhow, I want to just quickly start off this video with a huge, huge thank you to Nana Saves. Karen at Nana Saves. Um, I, I meant to show this off. Ages and ages and ages ago, excuse the rustling, um, when she sent it, but I haven't just haven't filmed, so she sent me one of her gorgeous, well I bought it, but um, one of her gorgeous um, binders, and she she wasn't happy with this, however this worked, but I was, I love it, um, so uh, I actually got a back and a front and also another sort of back. And then she sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous little bookmark. Um, and I am trying to read more books, so this would be brilliant. But what I'm thinking is I might put it in my pages here as well, just so we can see it every week. As far as this is concerned, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it quite yet. Um, and my plan is to have sort of my own binder for myself. Um, and so what I was thinking was I would... Um, you know, a little envelope in there already um but yes yeah, so i was thinking i'll probably just have this for my own envelopes my own personal envelopes and things that i want to save for for me um and then i was thinking it's <clears throat> she did also send me treasury tags for it just in case so that if it got thicker obviously i can take the rings off and use the treasury tags so um it might be a bit of a a bit of a everything at all and then might use this as a divider and have sort of like a middle and a back but yeah, I'm not quite sure 100% what I'm going to do with it. But when I seen it, I just thought I knew I had to have it. So I love it. So thank you very much, Karen. I uh, really, really do appreciate that. Um, I got a lovely note as well from her. And uh, she sent me this lovely little picture. So again, I can use that as a bookmark. So it's awesome. Right, we're, I'm rambling enough. A few minutes in. Back to my old ways. So, as you know, I haven't really done closeouts. I haven't really done what I should be doing. Um, we are going to close out this week. So, I've closed this one out myself. We're going to close out this week, but include some of last week's money in it because I'm just all over the place, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, and hopefully, from next week, I can get back into things properly. So, I'm back on my old uh, door, as somebody, I can't remember who it was now, somebody thought I was filming on the door. It's actually an old sort of antique kind of unit um, that he has, so, yeah, it's the only place to film at the minute. I'm hoping to clear the table in the kitchen, um, very small kitchen, but hopefully get that cleared and get into there. Um, so, yeah, so I've, my rollover was as predicted. Um, I had £11.20 in cash come in and then £16.86. Now that was a cheque that came from an old bank account that I had um, before I even moved back up here. So when I lived um, in Perth prior to living in Newcastle, I was in Newcastle for seven years. Uh, so yeah, it's years and years and years old. I think it was 2012 or something. So there was £16.86. And it was basically, they had overcharged me for a payment. Um, so, uh, what was it now? It was, I had gone overdrawn and they had charged me for that. But then um, I'd actually paid money in that same day, so they shouldn't have charged me. So then that was the overpayment paid back and then interest over the years that I should have had it back, basically. <laughs> so yeah, so that was that. So that account's obviously now closed. Um, I used £45 for sinking funds. This is going up now to 50 which I'm gutted about because it's a lot of money, but 
you know, it's for the dog, so she needs it. But anyhow, um, my total income for the week was one thousand two hundred thirty-seven sixty-nine. Uh, Audible came out as pr as predicted, and my two hundred club came out as predicted, and I haven't paid my rent yet, so I've bumped that over to next week, and I must pay it. Um, and then I bought the groceries online, so it was seventy pound and twenty-three pence. I have done top-up shops. So it's just easier because he has no cash. She's dumping out. Um, but. So I've just bought up top-up shops as well. So although I've not got any groceries over here, I've kind of used money from last week, this week, and all over the place. So my total bills was 82.22, which left me with £1,155.47. Um, Piper's Groom then cost 45 As I said, that's now going up to 50 So <laughs> um, she's much preparing, being, much preferring being short apart from she's making out that she's frozen all the time so she's currently wrapped in a blanket with her little santa jumper on because she keeps shivering so that left me with £1 £1,110.47 I then put £10 over to my credit card so that's for extra payments and that left me with £1,147 uh, sinking funds I haven't put any in yet but I am going to um, put them in with my cash stuff in when I do my next video so I'm just going to put £90 in there because I, I do have the £90 in cash um, so we're just going to do that so that will leave me with get the 1970s calculator out again so we had £1,147 and we'll deduct the 90 so that leaves me with £1,110.47 so then we'll see what's in my purse. Now this is kind of over two weeks money, so um yeah, it's not it's not correct. Um I have still got all my receipts in here, it's absolutely jam-packed full of receipts, so I need to sort that out. Um let's see. Don't want to scroll you out too far. <laughs> Groceries, I've got nothing in it, papers food has got nothing in it, fuel's got nothing in it, uh, my spending's got five miscellaneous has got nothing work has got five it's actually cancelled on saturday afternoon beauty needs to come out but it's still got five dog grooming's finished and plan spending is the 10 pound 11 pound 20 so that is there so that is 10 pound there for the 11 pound 20. So i'll take that out of here so that's the 11 20 that i got in cash and then this is all just leftover money that I have so goodness I'm not see I've not filmed that long that I'm all over the place so I've got all the cash in there so that's 90 pounds from last week and my cash stuffing money for this week so let's see what change we have but so I didn't have anything I had nothing spent in my spending and nothing so this is basically from fuel and miscellaneous so we've got one two three fifty ninety four four forty four sixty four seventy four eighty four eighty five four eighty seven change so if we do 50 there and then 5 minus £4.87 so that leaves us with I spent 13 pence from miscellaneous now that's not right it's because it's over two weeks and I haven't been keeping track um, but yeah so that is what we spent um, so we spent £50.13 so we have one zero you see now one zero one zero forty seven minus fifty pound and thirteen pence which leaves us with nine hundred and sixty pound and thirty four and then we haven't done the challenges um because I just didn't do them yet so I'm going to do them now just so that they're done before he shouts me <laughs> knocking the camera and what I'm going to do quickly as well is um, roll the dice for 
next for this week we'll come this week coming up as well just while i'm here okay so monthly challenge i've got the 15 pound in here in my purse there's 15 and then the 20 for the rubix that's 15 going in there i'm not going to count it because i really just want to be doing it quickly and then the rubix is going in there and that will be a pink one but i'll do that later because i don't don't have um the money so two seconds alan so that's 35 so we will deduct 35 from here which leaves us with 92534 and I should have 910 minus 1120. Oh no, hang on, I've not finished that. So <laughs> we have £4.87 going in there and then we have £10 going in there. Goodness. It's because he shouted, he put me off. So 35 plus 10 plus £4.87. That leave me with 49.87. So we have 960.34 minus 49.87, which leaves 9.47. Okay, I'm going to leave that there because he's not been very patient and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.